So we just launched Prep and Star Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that. Hey guys, welcome to the new session. So in this session, we'll be covering the questions and answers for logical reasoning for Infosys. Okay, before I start with the session, guys, I want you people to have a pen and paper with you because as soon as I'll be, you know, flashing the questions on the screen, I want you people to pause the video for that time and you can solve those questions and you can throw your answer in the comments. Okay, let's directly start with the, you know, uh, with the questions now. Okay, before moving forward, guys, so one thing important that you make sure you follow us on all our social media handle that is Instagram, Discord, WhatsApp and Telegram. Especially I want to emphasize on Instagram because we keep on giving off campus and on campus updates on our Instagram handle. So make sure you follow us on all our social on our social media handle, especially Instagram. The link for the same is in the description of the video. So you can get the link from there. Okay, let's start with the very first question over here. So it's given six friends P Q R S T. You are sitting in our two rows, three in each. T is not at the end of any row. S is second to the left of you. R is the neighbor of T and sitting diagonally opposite to S. Q is the neighbor of U. Now, which of the following are sitting diagonally opposite to each other? Okay, now let's see this question. I want you people to pause the video, try to solve this and try and throw your answers in the comments. Okay, let's see. So there are two rows over here. So let me draw two rows over here. Now let's see. Now T is not at the end of any row. That means T will not come at any end. S is the second to the left of U. If S is second to the left of U, if U will be here, I can say S will be here, but they can be in second row also. So let me draw one more arrangement where I can say U is here and S will be here. It's the only condition where, you know, I can say that S is second to the left of U. Now let's see the, you know, clues which are related to S or U. So it's given R is the neighbor of T and sitting diagonally opposite to S. Who is opposite to S? Diagonally, it's R. So I can say R will be here or in this case R will be here. Yes, and R is the neighbor of T. If R is the neighbor of T, surely R T will be here. Now, Q is the neighbor of U. Now Q is the neighbor of U. So Q will be here. In this case, Q will be here, guys. Now, which only thing left? That is only one person left. That is P over here. Okay, so these are the two possibility which I got. Now, let's see. Which of the following are sitting diagonally opposite to each other? Let's see. It's U and R. No, they are not diagonally opposite. They are front to each other. S and P, no, they are front to each other. They are not. P and R, P and R in the same row, so they are not. P and U, yes, P and U are diagonally opposite to each other in my both the cases. So I can directly say my answer is option number D. That is the correct answer, guys. Okay, one more thing, guys. Uh, make sure whenever we are solving the question of this kind, we have to take the, all the possibilities. Then only we'll get our answers in the perfect way. Okay, let's move forward with the next question now. So this question is from syllogism. Again, you can pause the video and try to solve this question. Okay, so let me solve it for you. Okay, so the very first question uh, statement is given that all books are pen and the second one is all pens are pencils. Okay, guys, so you can solve this with tick and cross method also and you can solve this with Venn diagram method also. The people who are prep insta prime members or subscriber they already know the tick and cross method because that is a shortcut approach we explained in the theory lectures of you know prep insta prime people who already have a subscription so in that we have explained how to go with tick and cross method that is a shortcut approach of solving the syllogism questions in general i'll use the venn diagram method because everyone understand the people who are not prep insta you know members they don't know what is tick and cross method that is a shortcut approach okay let's go with the venn diagram so all books are pen so suppose these are my books so all the books comes under category of pen okay now next one is all pens are pencils so all the pens comes under pencils guys fine now let's see the conclusion over here all books are pencils yes all the books comes because all the books are under pens and all the pens are pencils and the, all the books are also pencils the first conclusion is correct now all pencils are books can i say all the pencils are books no not all are so this is wrong so only conclusion number one follows so my answer should be option number a only conclusion one follow okay cool guys 
okay if you want to practice questions of for you know syllogism for inferences i would suggest you you should go if you are a prime member you already know that we have a separate dashboard for inferences so you can go in the companies by section and you can practice the inferences questions over here where we have explained how to you know solve the syllogism with tick and cross method also guys okay now let's come back to our question over here so the next question over here is yeah so if a rope is cut in three pieces of unequal length what is the length of the shortest of these pieces okay so this question is from data sufficiency okay let's see the you know statement one by one so again you can pause the video try to solve this and throw your answers in the comments so the very first statement is the combined length of the lower two pieces of the rope is 10 meters okay and the second one is the combined length of the shortest two pieces of the rope is 9 meters now they are asking what is the length of the shortest of these pieces let's see if i say first statement let's take the combined length of the longer two pieces of the rope is 10 meters if the combined length of the longer pieces is 10 meters and they are unequal so it can be 6 4 it can be 7 3 you know it can be 8 2 but they are asking what is the length of the shortest i know the sum of the longest two is this but can i say what is the length of the shortest i don't know i don't have any idea about the shortest length i know they are unequal but i don't know they are they are the longest the sum is 10 but i can't answer what is the which one is the shortest what is the length of the shortest one so with one along i can't answer let's come to the second one the combined length of the shorter two pieces of the rope is 9 meter now the two shorter pieces have a combined length of 9 again in this 9 i have different possibility they maybe they can they can be 4 and 5 maybe they are 3 and 6 again i don't know what is the shortest one and what is the length of that so using second alone also i can't answer if i combine both of them also again i can't answer which one is the shortest one okay so in this way what will be my answer first statement one wrong either of the statement answering no both of the statement even put together are not sufficient to answer the problem question so this should be my correct answer over here so guys whenever you are solving the questions of data sufficiency make sure you take each and every scenario one by one then check then combine the statement and find which one is the correct option for you because statement sufficiency questions are very tricky the calculation you don't have to do the calculation it's only about is the data is sufficient or not okay now let's move to the next question that is it's given that arya goes 30 km towards north from a fixed point then after turning to her right she goes 15 km after then she goes 30 km after turning to her right again how far in which direction is she from her starting point so this question is from direction and sense again pause the video throw your answer in the comments cool now let's see so arya goes 30 km towards north so suppose arya is here she goes 30 km north fine now uh, from a fixed point this is the fixed point i can say then after turning to her right so right will be this direction she goes 15 km how much 15 so this is 15 if this is 30 i have to make a half of that 15 km after this she goes 30 km after turning to her right so guys when i am facing the east direction my right will be south so how much i went 30 again in south so i went i came to the line of sight from where i have started can i say yes so now how far in which direction is she from her starting point so she is 15 km and from starting point this is east direction so i can say my answer this is wrong this is correct 15 km east option number b is the correct answer guys i hope so this is clear okay now let's move to the next question now cool so the next question over here is okay it's from data arrangement so let's try to analyze this question okay this is a very good question guys uh, again pause the video try to solve this and throw your answer in the comments let's see so l m n o p q r s are groups of friends who sits in a circle during extra classes now m is second to the right of o n n o sits opposite to each other s n m sits opposite to each other p and q sit on either side of o L sits to the immediate left of N. Then, which of the following statement is definitely true about this? Okay, so this is basically from you know circular arrangement. So again, pause the video, try to solve this, and throw your answer in the comments. Let's draw this. 
So M is second to the right of O. There are eight people, so I have to make a symmetry of eight people. So yeah, this is the symmetry. How many people? Eight people. So they are saying M is second to the right of O. So in circular arrangement, there is no starting point, there is no ending point. So I can start from anywhere. So suppose O is here. So M is second to the right of O. So one thing about circular arrangement is when I'm uh, whenever I'm talking about right, that means I have to go anti-clockwise. And whenever I'm talking about left, I have to go clockwise. Fine. So this is the thumb rule for solving the circular arrangement question. So yeah, M is second to the right of O. So M is second to the right of O. That means which one? I have to go anti-clockwise. So that means M will be here. Let me circle these values. Yeah. Now next clue I have to find related to M or O. So yeah, N and O sit opposite to each other. So N and O sit opposite to each other. So N will be here. S and M sit opposite to each other. So S and M sit opposite to each other. So S will be here. P and Q sit on either side of O. So either side of O means either P can come or Q can come here or either here P can come or Q can come here because they are saying they are sitting on either side. But which person at which side? I don't know. So let's write this way. L sits to the immediate left of N. So immediate left of N is L. So which, what we say left? Left means clockwise. So L will be here. So which is the only person left? I'm only left with L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. So R should be here shortly. Okay. So now let's, they are asking, which of the following statement is definitely true? Okay. So I am damn sure that with these options, lot of you are getting the wrong answer because the arrangement is quite easy to make, but the kind of question they ask, this is very, you know, tricky or very, you know, people still do find doubt what is the correct answer. The one thing which you have to emphasize over here is definitely true. So I have to find for the answer, which is 100% correct, definitely true. So let's see. M is M sits to the right of Q. Is M is to the right of Q? Okay, M sits to the right of Q. So I can say if M sits to the right of Q, I don't know where is Q. Q can be here, Q can be here. So M is sitting to the right of Q. Okay, now next one is P sits to the left of O. P sits to the left of O. If P is here, left of O. If P is here, then it's surely left. But if P is here, I can't say. Both of the other statements are true. No, both are not true because this is wrong. So the only option left is none of the above is true. Why? Because I don't know the perfect position of P and Q. Again, because they have given it's either side. So P can be either way or Q can be either way. I cannot answer because they are asking definitely true. So for definitely true, I can say none of the above is the correct answer for this. Again, guys, uh, I would suggest you the people who are, you know, preparing and they are facing difficulty solving questions for, you know, data arrangement. So I would suggest you, you can go again, go to the prime page and we have a separate dashboard for, yeah, you can go to the prime and we have a separate dashboard for Infosys where you can practice the previous year questions for Infosys. Also, we have explained like, you know, uh, the tricks, how to solve the question in a shortcut way and the same kind of question which I have, uh, you know, discussed just now. We have included those codes, same kind of question in theory lecture, then in quizzes and all those stuff. So you can practice from there also. Okay, let's move to the next question now. Okay, so next question over here is, uh, very sorry. Yes. Okay, let's see this question. It's given, if ZINS is written as MDGCI in a certain code, how is lunch written in the same in the, in the same code? Okay, again, you can pause the video, throw your comments and in the, you know, I'll throw your answers in the comments. Let's see. So if zinc is coded as M, D, G, C, and I. So they're asking how lunch written in that code, how lunch will be written in that code. So I have to see the relation between Z, I, N, G, S, and M, D, G, C, I. So if you notice, what is the place value of Z? I know the place value of Z is 26. What is the place value of I? The place value of I is nine, correct. What is the place value of M? The place value of M is nothing but uh, 12. Yes, correct. What is the place value of D? It's four. You notice any relation over here? Yes, let me show you. So the first number is Z is 26. If I divide 26 by two, I am getting 12 as my answer, which is my place value of the first number. That is first alphabet, it is M. Same, if I divide nine by two, I am getting 4.5. Let me take the integer value with the lower place. So it's coming 4, which is the place value of D. So this is my logic for zincs with this code word. 
same I have to do for lunch. So let's do L U N C H. So I, again, I have to write the place value for each letter. So what is the place value of L guys? The place value of L is 12. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Yeah, 12. So it's 12 by 2. So it, it comes to a 6. So what is the place value of 6? It's uh, F. Yes. Now U. What is the place value of U? U is 21 by 2. Uh, it will come out to be 10 point something. I'll take the integer value. It is 10. So what is the 10 place? That is I or J. Sorry. J. Yes, J. What is the place value of n? The place value of n is nothing but 14. I divide by 2, it will come to be 7. So what is the place value of 7? 7 is nothing but g. Correct. C, place value is 3. 3 by 2, that is some 1 point something. I'll take the lower value. So it will be a. What is the place value of h? h place value is nothing but 8. 8 by 2, it comes to be 4. Place value is t. So this is will be my code word for this. F, J, G, A, D. So F, J, G, A and D. That's nothing but option number B, guys. So this is a very, you know, great question which uh, in th from the coding and decoding part where I have taken the place value of the, uh, I have taken the code word as the half of the place value of the, my root word. Okay. Okay, guys. Now let's see this question again. This is from syllogism. So it's given statement that all the elephants are frog. No cat is frog. So, okay. So let's draw all the elephants. So we have elephants. So all the elephants comes under frog. All are frog. No cat is frog. So there is cat and there is no relation of cat with frog. Okay. Now let's see. No cat is an elephant. Can I say, okay, I know that all the elephants are frog. All the elephants are frog. No cat is frog. There is no relation of cat and frog. So no cat is an elephant. Can I say no cat is an elephant? No, because again, because all the elephants are frog, that surely be no cat will be elephant. That is correct. Some frogs are elephants. Some part of frogs are elephant. No, it's again uh, wrong. So I can say this is, uh, th is this follow? No, this is following? No. So neither of the two conclusion follows. That is option number D is the correct option. It's a very simple question. Okay. Now let's move to the next one over here. Yeah. So it's from blood relation. Let's see this question. So P is the son of Q. Q and A are sisters. N is the mother of A. M is the son of N. Choose one statement which is true. Okay, so again, we can draw the family tree, tree to solve the version. It's like, it will be very easy if you draw the family tree. Let's see. P is the son of Q. Okay, P is the son of Q. Suppose this is Q. So P is the son. So I will draw a square for a male person. You can go with plus minus approach also. So P is the son of Q. Q and A are sisters. So Q and A are sisters. If they are sisters, surely they will be a female. You can draw a negative sign or you can make a circle for female. Q and A are sisters. N is the mother of A. So N is the mother of A again circle and m is the son of n m is the son of n so m is the son of n so surely i can say m is the son of n choose one statement which is true okay first one m is the material uncle of q no it's not uncle because they all are cousins no wrong q and a are cousins q and a are sisters they are not cousins so wrong n is the grandfather of p n is the grandfather of p no, N is a female, so N cannot be a grandfather. M is the maternal uncle of P. So P is there. P mom is Q. Okay, Q's brother, Q's sister is A and Q's brother is also M. So M is a maternal uncle, correct? Because mom's brother is P's maternal uncle. So M is the maternal uncle of P. That is correct. Option number T, guys. Okay, I hope so. This is clear. Okay, so let's move to our next question over here. Okay, so in a certain code, Substitution is written as this. How distribution will return the same code? So again, guys, you can pause the video, try to solve this and throw your answer in the comments. Let's see. So let's write substitution over here because whenever we are solving the questions of coding and decoding, it is easy for us. Uh, if I if I write this now, I'll easily get to understand the logic of this question. It's I T S B U S N O I T U and T. So if you see this substitution over here, so there is a logic. What is the logic over here? Let's segregate into six, six parts. So if I say S U B S T I, okay. 
can i say this this whole substitution is getting flipped means the first the last letter went to the first place okay this letter taken to this place this letter taken this place this this and this for this part again for this i can say this this t uh, u this 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 and this so again the half six six letter the first letter went to the last place and vice versa so same will do with the distribution d i s t r i b u t i o n let's segregate in six so d s t r i and b u t i o n so i will come first then r will come then t will come then s will come then i will come and then d will come and then here n will come o will come i will come t will come u will come and okay so n will these are the uh, you know the grouping for the button so let's see which option is correct so i r t s i d n o i t u b that is nothing but option number b guys so uh, this kind of you know coding decoding question also comes where you can find the logic in the half way of the whole word okay cool guys so let's move to the next question now okay so the next question is it's from you know again blood relation but it's a different type so it's giving pointing to a person arun said to sarika his mother is the only daughter of your father how is the sarika related to that person so whenever you are solving the question of this type guys uh, again always try to you know split the whole statement to two parts so his mother is the only daughter of your father okay so his mother is the only daughter of your father now pointing to a person arun said to sarika who is this his the person who is the person so but this is the person so pointing to this person sarika arun said to sarika his mother whose mother a uh, person's mother so person's mother is the only daughter of your father who is your your sarika's father sarika's father only daughter who is sarika's father only daughter if sarika's father is having only one daughter only that means that is sarika only na so they are saying his mother is the only daughter of your father whose father so that is the sarika's father okay so i can say this mother will be sarika only and sarika's father again because his mother this person mother is the only daughter of your father whose father sarika's father only daughter is sarika only okay so they are asking how is the sarika related to that person sarika is the mother of that person so i can directly say option number a is correct because sarika is the mother of that person so because only daughter will be sarika only sarika's father's only daughter will be sarika only and sarika is the mother of that person so these kind of statements are quite confusing but at the end if you split it you will get the answer very quickly cool okay let's move to the next problem now okay guys so let's move forward okay guys so we are uh, we i have tried to cover all the questions from you know enforces logical reasoning from all the topics which are important one and in the middle also i try to tell you the shortcut uh, also so make sure you watch this video uh, if you are getting wrong answers if you are not getting the correct answer make sure you practice more you can practice from prime you can practice from prepsta also okay uh, before ending this session guys make sure you follow us on all our social media handle that is instagram discord facebook whatsapp and telegram especially i want to emphasize on instagram that is you know we do have different instagram handle for different years where we keep on giving updates for off campus and on campus drives so make sure you follow us on all the social media handle especially instagram the link for the same is in the description of the video okay one important thing guys make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon because we'll we we'll try to keep keep on coming live for different companies for infosys also we'll try to come live for more verbal session coding session so whenever we'll be coming live you will get the notification if you press the bell icon thank you so much guys that's all for this session